I hope you're ready because we are this close to a full Android 14 release and after all these betas, I am glad it's finally over. The fifth and final beta was released last week with very few minor UI tweaks. Everything that we know now is pretty much it for the stable build. So to celebrate, I installed beta five on my personal Pixel Fold and I'm gonna show you the top features you can look forward to in the full release. Now, this isn't a full review. I'm just showing you some of the top features you should know about, starting with a complete lock screen overhaul. It's hard to tell, but I believe the Pixel 6 and above will be getting this feature. Other than that though, I have to give Google huge props for this one because if you watch my most recent Pixel videos, I always complain about the ability to personalize, so it's really nice to see Google deliver on this. Google designed a whole new section dedicated to lock screen customization, which you can get to from the settings or long pressing on the lock screen. Here, you can change between seven brand new, relatively well-designed clock faces. Personally, I really do wish there was third-party developer support because that would make this huge, but for now, it's a great start nonetheless. Along with the clock faces, you can alter the colors, size, and if you look closely, there's a new section for shortcuts that you can edit as well. This came in beta 4, and as you can see, you get a small handful of shortcuts for the camera, do not disturb, flashlight, Google wallet, etc. On first impression, it's a welcome addition. Again, I just wish that third party developers had access to add their own custom functions. I think it would be pretty cool to have a weather shortcut or a timer or Google Keep quick notes or just anything for third party apps apps to take advantage of this feature. Overall, like I said, big props to Google for this because customization is something we've been asking for for quite some time now, or at least something I've been asking for, and I'm really happy to see some love come to this area of Android. A nice little utility for single screen users is the ability to drag and drop text while switching apps. This may sound familiar as Android 13 introduced drag and drop for split screen multitasking, and now in Android 14, you can move text while in the app switcher. In practice, you long press on text or on an image with one finger while using the other to switch to the app of choice, then drop the item in a text box. In my use case, it's really helpful for transferring text out of Google Chrome or Google Keep. Of course, this isn't a huge feature by any means. However, it is a nice quality of life change for those that didn't know. Up next is a long time feature that iOS users should be familiar with, and that's triggering the flash when you receive notifications. This is really an accessibility first feature for those hard of hearing, but I'm sure you've seen teenagers and other people use it from time to time. When you turn this feature on, notifications and alarms will cause the flash to blink. Alongside that, there's also an option to have the display flash as well for that extra bit of attention. Truthfully, I'm a bit surprised that we haven't seen this feature already, but this is useful for those that will need it. Moving on is a super small but highly requested quality of life change, and that's separate sliders for ringtones and notifications. Right now in Android 13, they're paired together as one, so ringtones come in at the same volumes as notifications do. In Android 14 and moving forward, you have the power to change that to whatever makes most sense for you. I'll probably have the ring turned up and notifications turned to like maybe 30% just because I just don't like to be bothered as much with notifications, but either way, other manufacturers have done this for a while now. And admittedly, I'm very surprised that the Pixel didn't get this all along. However, I'm thankful to see it now. Android 14 also includes an option that I've been going crazy without, and that's finally able to automatically unlock your phone when you type in a correct pin code. For security reasons, I can understand why they held off for so long, but seriously, as a consumer, I want the choice, and now I finally have it. One interesting note is this only works with six digit pins, so if you use a four digit pin like I do, you're gonna have to change it. But at that point, entering a six digit pin to automatically unlock takes probably the same amount of time as entering a four digit pin and having to hit the enter key. So I guess I'll just never be satisfied until I get a four pin auto unlock feature. Thankfully though, this is a good start. Something huge added to the beta was the official Android 14 Easter egg. I know this isn't really a feature depending on how you look at it, but it's a top tier addition nonetheless. For those of you that don't know, tapping on the Android version in the settings will present you with an Android space style logo. It's cool, but holding down on that logo will cause your phone to vibrate and take off if you will, then bring you to a cool space mini game where you can fly around an Android shaped rocket ship and explore your digital solar system. I'm pretty sure the map you explore is refreshed daily and while exploring, you can find planets, 
land on them, and read details of said planets while mastering your flight controls. Ultimately, this is one of the best Android Easter eggs available today, and I just love the creativity with this one. Moving on, a huge Android 14 feature is material U tweaks across the board. This isn't really one huge change in particular, but a ton of tiny tweaks to continue the aesthetic work that Android 13 started. In this case, you should notice the back arrow for gesture navigation has a colored accent, system toggles are updated, long press menus for the home screen have been changed a bit, adaptive icons are more pronounced, there's a new colored indicator for when you're charging your device, and a new animation that shows when you play music. On top of that, your pin codes for unlocking your phone will now show up as a material U style shape, and these are just a few examples of the many changes sprinkled out over Android 14. While not a major change by any means, these material U tweaks should help support the design language overall. Quality of life changes is the last major Android 14 feature that we have to talk about. These are all tiny changes as well, like tweaks to the share menu, where hitting the more icon will show you a redesigned menu and a full view of the item you're about to share. The battery saver toggle now shows you more feedback when you turn it on, indicating you have the choice to choose between extreme or standard battery saver mode when selected with a slightly altered icon to match in the status bar. Also, there's a new font size toggle to quickly change the text size when you need to. In the gesture navigation settings, you should notice a new tutorial, which should certainly be useful for those newer to the Pixel ecosystem. Predictive back gesture animations is another quality of life change you should keep an eye out for. This is technically a developer option still, with the expectation to come to the stable version of Android, but in this case, activating predictive back gestures will show you a preview of the screen you're returning to when navigating inside an app. Lastly, you can see the year your device was manufactured by going to About Phone and Model. It's nothing crazy, but the more data that I can get on my device as a consumer, the better. Overall, Android 14 is definitely a cleanup year for Google, as opposed to a major overhaul like some might have expected. Some people might might not like that, but as a full-time Pixel user, I want to see more of these stability overhauls. Google's got a solid base going on with the Pixel series, so any fine-tuning or adjustments that will improve the experience, I am all in on. At this point, we're really just waiting for the full stable release, which might happen in September or October. However, we have no way of knowing, at least right now anyways. In the meantime, please leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite features are with Android 14. Mine has to be lock screen customization without a doubt, but let me know what you guys think. Other than that though, that's everything that I have to share on the Android 14 beta and the best features so far. This has been Jordan Floyd from 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.